you very much, Chair, and thank you for the time. Um, Minister, um, Minister Butler, you're very welcome with us here today, and I suppose I, uh, I'm also, along with Senator Black here, uh, part of the subcommittee here um, on mental health. Um, Minister, you're here to speak with us about CAMS, you know, CAMS, which is an agency, and just to be very really clear on what they actually do, and it was outlined in the report, you know, they provide assessment and treatment for young people up to 18 years of age, you know, and it goes through here, like, the different types of uh, conditions that they treat, you know, people, young people with depression, with problems of food and eating, you know, self-harm, um, psychosis, bipolar disorder, schizophrenia, anxiety, um, and it speaks to just sort of some of the other agencies and groups that support CAMS. But Minister, it is quite a difficult report to read, and I know that it hasn't covered all the CHO areas. Um, it speaks very much about children, and over 100, 140 children have been lost in the system, which is really hard to hear for two years. Um, and their parents and their families and what they're going through, Minister, it's very difficult to see, but I appreciate that you are getting the information in order to be able to develop and implement a very rapid response, I would say, here. Five out of the nine CHOs have been reviewed. Uh, for me, my area is Galway, Ross, Common, Mayo. That's CHO2. Um, I do know that the team there have been in touch with us. I know the last year, early last year, they gave us an update. I'll be looking for another one now. But, you know, I know that the... Uh, you know, the, the self-harm and just eating is such an issue, uh, particularly for young people. But, um, Minister, I suppose my question is, when will the final report be issued? I know this is an interim report at the moment, um, and I know you've mentioned there are over 80 psychiatrists in your opening statement um, that are working in this area. Uh, I suppose my, my other question is around uh, sort of recruitment retention of psychiatrists in this area that are dealing with such workloads as well, but also what supports have been done around uh, telehealth or e-health? Health. Um, this is a huge area where even for the initial initial engagement, um, you know, there should be so many opportunities there in terms of telehealth. So what innovations are you looking at at getting used here? We're putting so many funds, so much funding into e-health that it's, it's one of the most frustrating parts around, I'd say, health that I think for people who work in the service, along with people who are, you know, are using the service, I'd say it's just very frustrating. And Minister, I'm sure you, you probably have some similar thoughts on that as well yourself. Um, I suppose with uh, Deputy um, um, Alan Dillon, we, as part of my other role, is within the Education Committee, and we brought out the report on mental health supports for children in schools and at third level in tertiary education. There were a number of recommendations there, and one which I called for last week uh, with uh, Deputy Alan Dillon and through Fine Gael was around the the, youth, the Mental Health Pathfinder project for youth mental health. So, you know, I know you've spoken on this recently in the Dáil, and you've referenced that there are so many departments. But which department is taking the lead here, Minister? Are you taking the lead on driving a project like this? It was the priority recommendation that came out of the Education Committee's report, the uh, Pathfinder project, sorry, that came out of the education report last week. And I know, as you mentioned, that you're working with a multiple of different departments on this, but, you know, who's taking the lead? And is there any progress that we can see being made on this? Because that could be a way that could really make a difference. And I know that our schools are looking to provide supports and our colleges to young people. Um, I know that this report follows on from a report on bullying and cyberbullying that we did within the Education Committee, which again was really shocking around the impacts of cyberbullying on young people. And this all leads to different types of mental health, uh, you know, uh, anxiety, stress, uh, withdrawal and, and self-harm. So, you know, it's amazing how all of these are so tied together. But Minister, these reports, you know, that bullying report came out a year and a half ago. Um, you know, the supports through the FUSE program about engaging with schools. You know, schools are crying out for counselling supports and, you know, qualified counsellors, how they themselves feel they aren't qualified. There's an article even yesterday in the Irish Times that was going through what bullying, the impacts of bullying, how to identify symptoms of bullying. I know this is not solely to do with CAMS, but what I suppose I'm speaking about is the society and culture we live in is raising up so many of these impacts for young people. So I suppose, Minister, if you were able to comment tonight, I would really appreciate it. And thank you for the time.